Welcome to my channel, I'm Danny, and today I have a really exciting unboxing for you. I have Coach in here and I'm super excited because I got this pre-loved item of Vestia Plenty. So let's open up the box and then we can chat after. in there like that in a dust bag Ooh, I've gotten first peek already I'm trying to get her out <laughs> showing her to you right. right so here she is she's in her dust bag but the dust bag is inside out she was actually a little bit peeping out already but I put her back in <laughs> so you ready there she is oh so this is the Coach Quilted Madison. She is a flat bag, she features a turn lock and she has aged gold hardware. She has these shoulder straps that are leather interwoven with chain and you can double her up to wear her as a shoulder bag and also pull the straps out to wear her as a crossbody bag. There is also a back pocket which I love. What's funny is there is a perfume smell and uh, what's funny is I did purchase an item from a private seller once and they had the same perfume smell. How interesting. <laughs> and there's that turn lock. Oh, so satisfying. I love turn locks. I think coach turn locks are comparable to Chanel's and all the coach bags that I still keep in my collection. I've done it because of the turn locks. So inside is this beautiful brown cognac color. Wow, just look at that. Wow. Okay, so the main compartment looks like so. There's a big compartment, there's a slip pocket over there, and then a zipper pocket in front as well. And then there's another compartment here in front. It's got two slip pockets in fact, and this bit is magnetized, so that's really nice. On the top it's got four grommets, and the grommets are side by side. The strap looks really nice. Wow. That's so nice! What's funny is the um, Chanel Classic flap strap is not as smooth, probably because it has a thicker leather interwoven through the chain. But wow, that is so nice. Wow, I can do that all day. Wow, I do really like this bag. Wow. As I said, I did buy pre-loved. Right, so having a closer look at the wear and tear of the bag. There is some wear and tear, but I don't really mind. Um, it looks like there are some dents on the back of the bag from the chain. There's somewhere on one of the corners. Um, there's no color transfer, which is really nice. And there's a bit of wear on the top of the back pocket here. The inside looks pretty clean. There's a bit of wear here near the bottom of the turn lock. And I suspect that's from when the last owner opens the bag. Her nails probably scratches against this portion of the leather. Nothing better than a good used bag, to be honest. And I'm surprised that it hasn't tented at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what it looks like on me. I will do some proper mod shots. On the hardware, there's some fading or chipping of the gold. Just giving you a few close-ups of the way of this bag. So there is a crease right here and I think that happens because that's where it creases when you open the bag. So that can't be helped. And in terms of the close-ups of the wear and tear, um, there's just some rubbing along the edge of the slip pocket here. And on the front, the wear and tear is over here. There is also a slight chip in the leather over here on the hardware there's a slight chip over here and a slight chip down here and generally on the front of the bag there's a few very superficial scratches on the back there's some slight dents in the leather and some superficial scratches on the leather as well so I'm giving you these close-ups so that you have an idea of what Vestier considers a very good condition um, overall the structure of the bag is still fine I haven't got my tape measure with me, so I'm just going to put the dimensions on screen while I give you the story time. So in terms of why I bought this bag, I really should be on Ban Island, and I think I might go on Ban Island after this. As you guys know, I recently unboxed my Birkin 25, and I should have stopped there, but unfortunately, I've spent a bit more since then. As you know, I bought my Hermes Advantage sneakers, I bought the Collier, the Shen Ring, and of course, there's collateral damage from buying a Birkin too. I had to buy the Twillies. I bought a bag charm that I didn't need, and of course, I bought an insert for my Birkin 25. But on some level, I still felt like something was missing. I really wanted a flat bag with a turn lock, ideally with a back pocket and adjustable shoulder straps. This obsession kind of started with Chanel 19. To me, the Chanel 19 is almost a perfect bag. 
like I love all its features, I love the turn lock, I love that it's got a back pocket, it's got a top handle, but the issue with it is that it has a shoulder strap that is only crossbody. It doesn't adjust to become a shoulder bag and I feel like for that price point I really need the bag to be perfect. I have considered other options like Roman Stud from Valentino, I talked about it in this video over here where I wish these two bags were married. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but of course these bags are really expensive and I more or less let go of the Chanel 19 in order to buy my Birkin. So here I am today, <laughs> still craving for a bag that is like the Chanel 19. I was checking out this Coach Quilted Medicine. The Coach Pillow Medicine came out at the same time, but because of their price point, you know, because everything is expensive now, I'm kind of just a broke girl with a Birkin. I should change the name of my channel to that, Broke with Birkin. But anyway. <laughs> The coach medicine turned up, I wanted something that was a little bit puffy, like the Chanel 19. The pillow medicine did turn up, but obviously it was relatively new when I was looking and it hadn't gone on sale or anything like that yet. This specific quilted medicine retails for 895 Australian dollars. For my American viewers, coach is really expensive outside America. I generally try to purchase coach only when I'm in America and you know, 895 may not sound like a huge amount relative to what I spent on my Birkin, but um, everything is expensive now <laughs> after I bought my Birkin. So I decided to have a look at the pre-loved market and if you've been following my channel you know that I've been testing out Best Day Collective and so far I've had a relatively good experience. So I decided to have a look for this bag on Best Day Collective and this one was the one that turned out to be the best price. It was listed as 550 Australian dollars. I just felt like the deal was too good to give up. And because on Bestia Collective, the listed price is the highest price that the seller expects you can negotiate down. And I thought, okay, on my shoestring budget, why not just give them an offer? And the lowest offer I could give them was 200 Australian dollars. And after that, the seller can still negotiate up or just decline my offer altogether. So I decided just to put in 200 Australian dollars and the seller accepted and I'm very very pleased about that because after I purchased this, the Coach Australia website actually put this bag on discount, I think 40% off and it came down to about 500 Australian dollars so I'm super glad that I didn't pay that much for a pre-loved bag. <laughs> so all in all with duties and taxes, authentication fees as well as shipping fees, I paid 320 Australian dollars for this bag. I think she's perfect, she's the perfect bag that I can use quite freely and I can see myself wearing her during the day and quite easily taking it to dinner as well. So right now I'm going to overlay some mod shots. If you enjoyed this video, certainly give me a like. If you think I deserve to be tips for this video, go ahead and pick Super Thanks where you can nominate a monetary amount to contribute to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to watch another coach unboxing video, this one here is of my coach Swinger in Shilling.